Satellite images show the destruction in Hawaii after wildfires scorched Maui. State leaders say 67 people have died. Among the people trying to get out, a triad couple there on vacation. WFMY News 2's Giselle Thomas talked to the pair that's been stranded for days with a limited supply of food, water, and essential medication. Tabitha Westmoreland and her boyfriend Chris Hagee went to Maui to celebrate her birthday. It was her 10th trip to the island and his first. It quickly turned from a luxury vacation to being forced to stay in their car. I was so scared the first night that we stayed because of the wildfires. I was afraid a fire was going to break out and we had nowhere to go. You know, we didn't know where to go. A five day trip to Hawaii turned nightmare. Tabitha and Westmoreland and her boyfriend Chris Hagee years. say they only spent one night at their Hawaiian resort before they were forced to stay in a Jeep for two nights. There were 60, 70 mile an hour wind gusts. So you can imagine what it felt like sitting in a vehicle all night long and not knowing if their fire is going to pop up around you. Vehicle shaking. They parked close to the harbor with other people and saw things they could not unsee. There was people jumping in the harbor because they were over there taking pictures of stuff at Front Street because it was closed. Those people were jumping in the harbor to save their lives. The couple says resources are low and thankful locals help with water, food, and necessities. They gave us a roll of paper towels, which I can say I used for a pillow for two nights at the Jeep. Their situation is getting better. They eventually found a place to stay for a night. Then the roads reopened so they can get their belongings from the resort. The couple says they got signs from above that they would be okay. The other rainbow was just right in front of us, literally. So we had a sign of relief that everything was going to be okay. There's even more hope tonight. They've secured a flight home back and will arrive in North Carolina tomorrow afternoon. Giselle, thank you. If you want to help, experts recommend waiting to see where the need is. But if you do want to give now, they say you should give to experienced organizations. We have some links on our website. The Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement is pledging to match donations up to $1 million.